got finished my run, as you can see. I'm very, very, very sweaty everywhere. Um, I did 5K in 30 minutes exactly. I haven't ran long distances consecutively for a very long time because of my knee, so I'm pretty happy with my time and I'm gonna go home and shower because I am gross. I've been watching lots of videos on intuitive, intuitive eating and I've, I just find it very interesting. Um, I know for myself, like I kind of set out my set meals and I eat them when I eat them pretty much every day and I'm not really listening to my body. And I find um, I'm very hungry around 11 to 2.33 o'clock and so I still eat my set meals, but in between I'm so hungry. So I, I try to push back my breakfast and this and that to try to in com accommodate my eating during that period. But I think intuitive, eat intuitive eating may help that a little bit. So just for example, this morning I woke up, um, I went to my Weight Watcher meeting then I went for a run. I wasn't, I'm not overly hungry when I wake up or even when I'm done the gym, but I still eat because we're kind of told you need to eat pretty much as soon as you wake up or after a workout. So I had my apple before Weight Watchers to let it digest a little before my run. And then after my run, I was a crazy person and I went to Costco. And um, after Costco, I went to Superstore and at Superstore, I knew I was hungry, like very, very hungry. Like I could feel the sensations of being hungry. And um, I saw nothing kind of looked appealing that I could just kind of snack on. Um, I knew I was going to come home and eat like a meal. Um, but I got, I'll show them to you. These are my favorite things ever animal just animal crackers gluten-free dairy-free animal crackers and I was like those sound amazing so then I stopped and I was like okay you're hungry you're going to have a meal soon but you want these right now and you eat relatively healthy most of the time but saying no to those at the grocery store would have made me think about them and then in a not a weak moment I don't know what those moments are called, but I would go out and get them and eat a whole box. But I, I probably had two servings, which is six points on Weight Watchers, and I tracked it, and I feel good. I don't need the whole box. I'm making my uh, healthy pizza. Um, I'm pairing it with a salad, which I don't usually do. I got that idea from Ellie, somebody who I worked with. She'll have kind of like a meal and then a salad on the side, and I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm very like structured and I guess I never realized how structured I was and I don't listen to my body whatsoever. So um, I know everybody's goal is to be an intuitive eater um, but I think you need to be very, I don't know, I don't know what you need to be. Um, but I'm I'm not saying that this is what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try my hardest to listen to my body and n allow myself kind of whatever I want, um, but still follow the principles of like eat to fuel your body and to fuel your workouts and uh, and don't obsess. Like if you want to eat insert something here eat it and when you're eating it don't you don't need to eat the whole thing you don't need to binge it because you're not going to have it for another um well, I don't know whenever you allow yourself to have it again and when I first started Weight Watchers I found that that's why it was working so well for me is because I didn't feel like deprived of anything and I allowed myself but then recently um, I started to get a little bit of that se se seasonal depression and stuff and it just, the, the 
I don't know what you call it, the, the weird thinking around food kind of started shifting a little bit. So um, I've, I've been doing this for a couple days and I just, I don't, I'm like, I don't know, I feel just a little bit free. Like I have animal crackers right there and I don't care. I don't even want to eat them. Um, I'll show you what I'm eating right now. This is what I'm having for lunch paired with, paired a, with a salad. And this is going to be delicious. And I feel like it's going to satisfy me more because I want to eat this. By the way, this is fully cooked. Vegan cheese is weird a little bit. It doesn't melt. But yeah, that's my little spiel right now. So it's going to be something that I'm going to work towards. Um, I just purchased a book from iTunes and called Intuitive Eating and I'm just, I'm going to listen to it and go from there. Like I said, I feel like intuitive eating is what everybody strives towards. Um, probably somebody that I know that does this and doesn't even know she's doing this is my little sister. And yeah, I need to hang out with more people like that. She'll eat almonds when she wants them, she'll, she just, she doesn't think about it. Um, and she'll have pizza on a Tuesday and a Wednesday, you know, and some days her calories will be up and some days they will be back down, but she listens to her body and the cues and the signals. So I'm just going to try this. I'm not going to overthink it. Um, I'm still doing Weight Watchers. I know they say you have to give up all diet mentality to truly intuitive eat but um i think it's baby steps and i also think that i feel like i'm almost there not fully there but like i've over the past i don't even know 15 years i feel like i've come so far and i'm like right here towards leaning towards like I feel like kind of cured of food, um, but it's that little inch that I need of not being so restrictive towards myself. But honestly, I didn't really even know that I was because I eat so much now and because I, I, don't, I try not to overthink it. But yeah, just an example is with those animal crackers. They're sitting up there. I don't want to eat them. I had some, I feel satisfied. And I barely even ate today and it is 11.43 and I'm going to have my meal now, but it's just kind of neat. I feel like when you learn new things, it's hard to go back to being the person you were before. Kind of like when uh, infants or toddlers start learning how to walk after crawling for so long and they're not going to go back to crawling because walking is just so much better and so much more beneficial and you're faster and you're just amazing. You guys are amazing too. And remember that every day is part of your journey. Sam came home. He said he was going for a walk in the woods to get some stuff. So he came home with all the stuff to make a, a fun little Christmas activity. He went to the dollar store and got some neat stuff too. So we're going to start. He's also recording it. This is also going to be in his video. It wasn't very creepy for me to go into the woods. The young woman that walked up in a completely quiet, desolate spot in the woods and looked over and saw a six foot five, 300 pound man <laughs> holding a saw, <laughs> staring at her while mumbling into his phone. She may have been a little creeped out. I feel like I made her mind at ease, but she still did not come anywhere near me. <laughs> she stayed within, uh, she stayed quite a distance. That's what I mean. So it's just like color filler. Yeah. It's so much harder to glue it to another bulb. 
you want? I don't know. sitting outside. It's very much like a peacock, but it's very pretty. Sam said it was six dollars, including the hats. Nope, not including the hats. That was a really fun day, and I felt like we were very productive. We ran at the track, got all of our groceries, made a Christmas basket, not sure what it's called, um, finished a paper and sent it in and just hanging out being cozy and warm the sky is really pretty right now it's it's very pink but I hope that you guys have a good week next week and I can't wait to make another video that'd be so fun if uh, I just blew sparkles but I may hate myself two minutes later. Rumi! Rumi! Hi, cute girl! Come here! Talk to you later.